What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to talk about the Philips X2HR versus the Bayer Dynamic DT990 Black Edition. Now, keep in mind that these are going to be comparable in price. This is going to be about $30 more than the Fidelios. The Fidelios are, you can actually find it for about $150. Uh, versus this, you can possibly get it for 190, you know, 190, 180 ish, you know, around the price range. But one of the things that I really like the most about the Bayer Dynamic, these are 250 ohms uh, headphones, which you can punch them and, and um, you know, with higher volume um, amps and stuff like that, and it won't distort at any volume at all. I have it hooked up to the um, Ship Hell. Um, audio interface uh, which is super good and you can drive this no problem now on the other hand the Fidelios which is this one's right here the Fidelios when you put it up to like probably like 45% of volume you, you you can hear that they get super loud um, and at the same time if you pass anything over like 60% of volume you start see hearing some some really cracking uh, noise and distortion um, on pretty much anything that you listen to, whether it's video games, whether it's uh, listening to music. Um, so again, this is one of those things that it's it's unfortunate, right? Um, I will put um, the specs of each headphones in the, decri the description below, and also gonna put a couple of photos so you guys can see for yourself what are the major differences between both of these headphones. Again, both of them have 50 millimeter drivers inside. Um, they're both very, very comfortable. With an exception of the Fidelio, um, for some odd reason, this this little headband it sticks out too much, and as you can see, you know from the side right here, it has this gap over here. So, but you know, it's just one of those things that you know, as 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 you wear these these things for comfort, they're all right. And uh, one of my major complaints with this particular headphone itself is the velour cups. They pick up anything. When I tell you anything, if you have pets around the house, cats dogs, uh, dust mice or anything like that, it will definitely get dirty super, super fast. So you have to find some sort of way to actually keep them clean. And uh, what worked for me so far is the length removers. That actually removes all the length and you know whatever dust builds up on it. Um, again, these are like super nice. My, my favorite part is the, um, uh, this grill, uh, like you know microphone grill that you, met, that you see on the top, it's like the mesh cover. It is super nice. Uh, it feels really nice and good. The leather feels really premium with the Fidelio uh, stamp on the top. Now on the Bayer Dynamics, the only thing you're going to see, it's uh, almost like this um, vent, which it's not really, I guess it is open back, but you can see a little bit of cloth underneath the, uh, this, uh, this uh, you know, grill. It's not removable or anything by any means. But again, they both have the velour uh, ear cups and they're both actually memory foam. And uh, because they're open back, when you're wearing them for a very long period of time, um, your ears are not gonna be sweating or anything like that. So if you compare the headband between this and this, I definitely prefer the Bayer Dynamics uh, head headband, even though it's, uh, it's still velour. Um, I, I don't know, for some odd reason, I feel like it fits more um, like flush against my head as you can see it doesn't it, there's no gap right here uh, which makes it a lot more comfortable versus having that big gap on the top like it is in the Fidelio's like right here but again that's just minor complaints uh, that I have about the Fidelio's um, and I will tell you this right now though if if you're in a, on the market for a new headphone uh, for either listening to music or playing your video games I would definitely recommend the Fidelios because it requires less power to actually drive them. You can actually just plug them into your computer and it will sound great. Uh, and even potentially like plug it into any controller that you may have, like the PlayStation, PlayStation 4 controller, or maybe the Xbox controller. So, but again, these are the, 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 the pros and cons between both of them. They both give you a two quarter uh, adapter to a 3.5 millimeter adapter on it. So you can actually plug this into any type of interface that you may have. Um, so again, it gives you the benefits to do that, right? With, with the Bear Dynamics, my main concern is that this particular wire, it is not removable 
not unlike the uh, Fidelio, which you can actually remove the entire wire and potentially replace it with a better cable, I should say, or let's say that the, the wire gets caught on something and it rips, you have the ability to actually change the wire itself versus this, it's actually embedded in the cup. So, um, you know, again, that's a, a, a minor uh, downside to it. So it's highly recommended for you to actually buy some sort of a warranty for this because this eventually will, depending on how rough you are with your headphones, eventually it will tear away. And I'm gonna show you the interface on the Fidelios. So as you can see, it's regular 3.5 millimeter headphones on one end, uh, plug, and on the other side, once you remove this, it's the exact same way. So it gives you the opportunity to buy an, a shorter cable if you, see, if you see fit that you need a shorter cable, or you may need a longer cable to reach on your gaming desktop or your gaming setup, whatever it is that you're actually trying to plug it into. But again, this is just minor things, right? Uh, the Fidelis definitely give you a little bit more bang for their bucks because $150 and they sound great. Listening to music, playing your video games, it's absolutely amazing. The bass in it is, uh, is really rich. The mids and the lows, you can actually hear, you know, people creeping up behind you when you're playing Call of Duty. I play a lot of Call of Duty with these headphones and um, I hear everything, you know. Yeah, granted, it, it may not be like, you know, the best ones in, in, in terms of audio quality, like the DT 990s that I have here, uh, but it definitely gets it a run for its money though. So again, if, if you cannot find the DT990s anywhere, I will encourage you to actually go ahead and pick up the Fidelios because for $150 or so give or take, they definitely offer um, a really great value from a user standpoint. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you, you know, what capabilities uh, the, the headphone has because you can actually go look it up on your website, I mean on their website, and be satisfied with it, you know? If you're looking from, from, from a user perspective where it's like, you know, someone who bought a headphones for uh, the, its own use, not to review it, um, again, that is what I'm giving you. I'm giving you a straight answer. Do I recommend it for gaming? By all means, absolutely. Music, yes, every day. But if you wanna step into something better and have the same features that the Fidelio will give you in a much, higher performance headphones, this is where it's at, the DT990 uh, Black Edition. And this is what I actually got uh, for $200. When I bought it, it was $200. I'm sure you can get it for a little bit less than that now. This is uh, pretty old. Uh, but again, guys, if you wanna see more, um, you can actually visit the websites and there's other YouTubers who will give you like the specifics of how you know each uh, headphones performs in terms of um, you know, music and impedance and, and ohms and stuff like that. I'm not gonna give you that. This is my true, honest opinion. And I would definitely recommend the Fidelios over the DT990. But if you don't have a budget for it, go for the DT990s. Again, guys, if you'd like to pick any of these up, I will link them in the description below. And um, until the next video, guys, stay safe, be well, see ya.